So I had been looking for a new display cabinet for all my anime and idol stuff and we finally got our hands on this lovely vintage one and it was free as well which was really lovely. Unfortunately, as you can see, it is missing a door. Essentially, a gust of wind blew the door off. So we had to first repair that, which didn't take too long. It was a fairly simple process and luckily it all fit together. We then set about sanding down the cabinet ready for the undercoat. The more delicate bits couldn't be done with the machine, so we did them by hand with these weird sanding block sponges. Fortunately, we had lovely weather, so it was really nice and quick for each layer to dry. Despite all the sanding we did, it still ended up being really shiny and the paint just didn't want to stick, but after enough time, it did eventually. After a day's work, we'd done pretty well and got pretty far with the painting. We finally got the shattered glass repaired on the door and since it was still unattached, we painted it separately. There are still some rather obvious cracks in the door where it broke and we had to repair it with some extra plates, but it's sturdy enough. Eventually we got round to painting over the undercoat, but we had different plans for the back. Unfortunately, painting is a very messy business and the glass was absolutely covered in paint, so I spent ages scraping it all off. Though I have to admit, it was very satisfying. Now for the back of the cabinet, which we'd left unpainted, we were actually going to wallpaper over it. We'd used this exact same wallpaper in my other cabinet, so I'm really just making a theme. It was really difficult getting them all in place and I eventually got out a spatula to like flatten it down and get rid of the air bubbles. <laughs> it really is a gorgeous wallpaper and I can't wait to add it to any more furniture we do up. I'm already planning to do a bookshelf up in a similar manner. Finally, after lots of trial and error, we finally got all the wallpaper in place and I have to say, at this point, I was feeling really good about it. Soon after, we reattached the door, despite losing all the screws and having to improvise. It was at this point that we realised the door to the cabinet was stuck in the lock position and we had lost the key. Luckily, we eventually found the key and managed to unlock it. And with all the painting and screwing and whatever out the way, we finally got to move it into its new home. And of course, we couldn't forget to put in the glass shelves. What use would it be without them? I added a few things on top of the cabinet that had been in there before because my bookshelf at the time used to stand there and we're hopefully going to do that up as well. I am so pleased with the result, it fits in so well and I still can't believe we managed to get our hands on such a perfect cabinet. 